Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To our brothers around the world, we pray to Almighty subhanahu wa tabaraka fi ula to shower his mercy and blessings onto all of you. A question from one of the students um, in Arabic, you know, faculty in Saudi Arabia, Medina al Munawwara, Al Jami' Al Medina. He's asking the following. Uh, as a student, I'm trying to gain mastery in Arabic language to master my Arabic, knowing pretty well that the people around me are not speaking the classical Arabic. They only speak in Ammiya. So how can I really master that language, knowing that they're not speaking to me except with their own dialects? The first thing that you have to consider as a student of knowledge is that Ammiya will not have um, impact over you know, mastering Arabic, if you really learn Arabic from the right source. And the right source of Arabic language are either learning them from Mashaykh directly when they speak, you get to listen. If not, then get it from the books that are known as Ummahatul Kutub Fil Lugha, the founding fathers or the main sources of Arabic language, like the book of Al Mubarrid, Al Al Kamil for Imam Al Mubarrid, like the book of Al Jahiz, like the book of Abu Al Qasim Al Qali that he named Al Amali, like the book of um, uh, Ibn Qutayba. These are books that when you read and you take them as your companion, or you take them as your own comrade, you will be able to come up with some things but of course with guidelines that will be provided for you from your teachers. If you just open them by yourself from day one, you will get confused having the guidelines. So do not really depend on the people around you. Depend on the mashayikh or the teachers that really gain, they master the language and always listen to those that will, um, I will not say impossible for them to grammatically err, but I will say it, scarcely they will not even make mistake. Why? Because when you listen to someone who easily uh, make mistake in Arabic language, maybe you, you may adapt his mistakes without knowing. But when you listen to someone who really, really mastered that language, you know for sure, of a surety, whatever he's saying, he knows what he's saying. So you capture that. And always, the more you listen to mashayikh like that, you will be able to know, you know, how to speak better and also how to master your accent in Arabic language and also how to speak. So you don't even think, okay, fa'il supposed to be marfu' or, you know, maf'ulun bihi has to be mansub, or if I have mudaf, um, it has, or mudaf in ilay must be kasra, whether it's by taba'iya, munada, mudaf, munada, um, you know, al mufrad, all this. So when you speak, you don't even think about qawaid. The problem today is that we l when we learn Arabic language, we try to learn Arabic language by knowing the qawaid al nahu. Knowing the qawaid al nahu will never keep your tongue straight. One of them said, وَلَسْتُ بِعَرَبِيٍّ يَلُوكُ لِسَانَهُ وَلَكِنْ سَلِقِيٌّ أَقُولُ فَأُعْرِبُ I'm not actually an Arab, pure Arab, he said. I'm not that really pure. I'm not even pure Arab that will speak Arabic without a mistake. But just by being with those who gain the mastery of that language, I began to speak like them without even making mistakes. So listen, take tea, scholars of that field to be your friend. So you listen and follow the Ummahatul Kutub and don't even worry about, okay, I, I'm, I'm speaking, I have fi'l, the next um, uh, word support or the next, you know, noun supposed to be fa'il and it has to be, you know, marfu' bi dhamma. So qala, I have to say Muhammadu or akala Muhammadun al ta'ama or akala al ta'ama Muhammadun. Or, that's this waste of time. Get yourself to sit in front of someone to guide you first and foremost and take the books that I mentioned. They or that book or these books will suffice. Be idhnillah for the most part. Remain blessed, brothers, in um, Al Madin Al Munawwara, in Arabic language. There's no language like it. And try your best to obtain the highest level in it. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you. But mutun that you can memorize, we will discuss that in different settings. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.